I'd like to share too some other work on some other writers. Now, those were groups that we just discussed. A development from the solitary writer, the writer in solitude, working away, laboring away. Edward Martin on his bed. The other writers in different places, but all in solitude. And then the groups, the group of Manondale, the pavements and expressions. But once more we return to single writers and um, I remember Ruth Nandan Singh who posted volumes of his work to me in America. I don't know where he is now, I must look for him. Ruth Nandan Singh, he posted volumes to me whilst I was living there saying to me, this is what I just wrote. There's Chirumini Bisundia, who thought it best after a while to embrace academia and so advance his poetry. And uh, Sita Shaw wrote poetry. And uh, Lakshmi Kalicharan wrote poetry. And Benjamin Chinapin, and that wonderful little lady, Mahadai Das, all of these people wrote poetry. And Dr. Paloma Mohammed, Paloma Mohammed right here, I published her. I was happy to do it. She's a wonderful poet. She's a real wonderful poet. And one day when we are doing this show over again, because this just scratches the surface, but it's a show that should be done in depth and um, when I'm in full health, I mean, it's about three months I'm recovering from a stroke on this left side. So bear with me if my tongue is a little bit heavy. You know, I'm still recovering after three months. But many of these poets wrote wonderful poems. And I'd like to share with you a poem by Ruplal Munar and then another person who definitely is a favorite of mine, and I'm sure is a favorite of yours too, Sibyl Douglas. But first, let's take Rupa, uh, Rupla Munar. All right. Rupla wrote this poem called Babu. Well, let me tell you, being with Rupla is fun. Anytime you're with Rupla Munar, you're laughing. I'm sorry he's not hearing Diana right now. This one is called Babu. Huddled by the front door of a decayed rat infested loji, victim of rain and sun, Babu's eyes scan the cane field horizons. Whiplash explodes from sunburnt hands, leering blue eyes in hardened faces, a jingling of copper coins, a dumb powerless deity dancing a dance of images. Images of immigrant ships, barracks, confinements, cutlasses, decapitated women dance in the rhythm of seasons. An enclosed world of cane fields, waves of spluttering factory smoke, days of rotating nothingness. In a heap of impatience, Babu swirls like a ballet dancer, strong and flexible. Generations nurtured from a seed will clasp their hands and say, Our ancestors carved these fields, which have given us meaning, meanings to stand tall. This land is ours. Rupla Munar. 